Okay, now we'll start. This is in metric, so we'll start drawing in metric. First step, you have to click in the home position as usual to know the orientation and the location of the views. See home position, and then expand and x y y z x z to find which work plane to start with. I will start with the front view. And from the front of you, I will start create 2D sketch. Okay. The maximum length 174 until the center of the circle. So we'll start with the circle. The diameter of the circle is 108. 108. Okay. We draw the center. And the distance from the center to the edge, we draw any rectangle, it should be in the center of course, in the middle, but then any rectangle, I only care about the distance from the center of the, of the circle to the edge, which is, has to be 174. And then 82, the total width of the rectangle, Uh, since this is not in the center, I have to adjust the 41. So from the center, from the edge to one center of the circle. I mean to the center of the circle to one edge, 41. That's it. Or we can add the internal circle, because it's only one sketch. We will extrude it all together. So we'll add internal circle which is 57.15, 57.1 task tolerance so 57.1 we'll trim, trim, trim add the construction line and here I will trim again, I forget this one after I finish I will give it extrusion by 64 okay so this is 64 Then now we will add the cut. We draw another circle and we draw another rectangle, two points. I will trim the area and I will keep the area in the middle. This one. So I will this all this this contour I will make it sketch down cut. So I will extrude cut the value 44. 64 minus 44 and then I will do I will leave you this part I want you to do try yourself to do it alone okay just the last information with regard to the middle area I have to draw two squares two squares in order to remove the area in the middle I will leave you with the rest of the video I hope you enjoy see you next time
here we have to make dimension I prefer to add section view okay section view so we'll add section view and we'll make we can right click edit to adjust the section lines so we will adjust the center lines the distance the scale of center lines so three okay now here are two views if I want to take the isometric view now if I click on isometric view like I will take isometric view projected from this view the isometric view will be uh, will be splitted like this one half of the part because as you know section view mean half of the part but it's not correct to have half the part as an isometric view what I can do is project again a front view then project from the new front view isometric view and in this way now it's easy to make my isometric view I will change the color and I will change the scale and that's it see you in the coming videos